All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, the time is now 5.01 p.m. Welcome to this virtual public meeting. Um, this is a, a public meeting for the Kirtner Booster Station Upgrade Project to share with um, our customers and residents about this project and what to expect as the project goes into construction. Um, I, uh, my name is Gruma Wok. I'm the Director of Engineering and Technology for Alameda County Water District. This, is, um, this meeting was advertised as a special board meeting uh, with the anticipation that um, board members would be attending this meeting. Currently, I do not see any uh, members of the Board of Directors for the Alameda County uh, Water District. Um, having said that, um, is there anyone that has any general questions before we get started? And as a reminder, this meeting is being recorded such that uh, others who are not able to join us today will, will have the opportunity to review uh, the video and understand the project a little better. Um, as I said, um, Welcome to this uh, project informational meeting. My name is Gruma Wolk, um, Director of Engineering and Technology for uh, the district. Um, today's topic is Kirtner Road Booster Station Upgrade Project. It's a virtual public meeting and uh, this information will be posted on the district's website under the project webpage. I will wait another minute or two to see if uh, any board members would join us. Um, I recognize most everybody um, on the screen. I do see Martin. Um, are you a member of the public, Martin, or are you associated with the district or the project, if I may ask? If you were speaking, I did not hear you. So uh, to those that are attending uh, virtually, uh, the public may participate in this meeting via the Zoom webinar um, or uh, by calling any of the following numbers, 1669-900-9128 or 1346-248-779 or 301 Seven one five eight five nine two, and enter the meeting ID eight three seven seven four seven seven six six nine six. This is not a special board meeting at this time because we do not have a board of directors. Nonetheless, um, I want to ask if anyone in the public realm has any questions or comments on the matter. Uh, on this notice of special board meeting. Well, seeing none, I'm gonna turn it over to our uh, project manager for the Kirtner Road Booster Station Upgrade Project, Nick Busey, will be presenting on um, the scope of the project, uh, the construction schedule and activities and what to expect as as residents in the nearby area. Nick, take it away. All right, thanks for that introduction, Gru. Um, so I'm here today to provide some information on our upcoming construction project at the Kirtner Road Booster Station, um, which is located on Kirtner Road near the intersection of Klamath Street. Um, here's just an overview of what I'll be covering today. Um, first, I'll give a brief overview of ACWD. Um, I'll explain the project objectives and benefits, give a description of the work and schedule, um, explain any potential project impacts, and provide a chance to ask questions. So first, um, a little bit about the district. Our mission is to provide a reliable supply of high quality water to our customers at a reasonable price. ACWD operates 24 seven and provides emergency response services, including um, system repairs and water supplies for fire protection. We also provide watershed and groundwater resource management and protection for Alameda Creek. 
Um, some other roles we provide are customer service, community education and awareness, water conservation, and open space recreation at Quarry Lakes. Um, we also um, represent local interests through federal, state, and regional engagement. The district was originally founded in 1914 and serves approximately um, 350,000 customers. On the next slide, I'll show you an overview of our service area. The service area is 105 square miles and provides drinking water to the cities of Fremont, Newark, and Union City. So here's a description of the work we're going um, to do to improve the facility. Um, the existing pumps, motors, valves, and piping will be replaced. Um, additionally, the existing electrical control equipment will be replaced, including the PG&E um, switchboard, programmable logic controller, and motor control center. We'll also be installing a new equipment pad and structural expansion to support the upgraded equipment. And finally, there'll be some site safety improvements and testing and commissioning services. Here's a planned view of the existing booster station and property. Um, to orient yourself, Kirtner Road would be at the top of the image. Um, the existing driveway will be replaced along with the booster station roof and interior pumps. Um, and also the existing electrical equipment on the roof will be removed. And here's a view of the new booster station after it's finished. Um, the new equipment pad is shown in blue in the center of the image and will support the upgraded electrical control equipment. And the new booster station will also be expanded to support the new pumping equipment inside. Um, there will be also a new driveway to provide on-site parking um, for our maintenance teams. I'd also like to mention a few of the project benefits to the public. Um, the new facility helps us to efficiently manage and maintain um, our community's water infrastructure. It also helps to ensure a reliable supply of drinking water is available to all of our customers. Here's just a brief overview of the project schedule. Um, the ACWD Board of Directors awarded the construction contract to Disney Construction in May and construction is expected to start in July. Um, the contract requires the booster station to be returned to service in June, 2023, and project completion is anticipated afterwards. You can visit the district website for the most up-to-date project information, and we'll also be posting project updates on Facebook, Twitter, and Nextdoor. I'd also like to explain some potential impacts that some residents might experience. Um, at times, there will be construction vehicles and equipment, as well as material stockpiles on ACWD property. Um, there will also be some minor construction noise and vibration as the contractor completes certain work items. Um, you might periodically see traffic control measures, including cones or flaggers on Curtin Road. And there will also be some safety measures on site, including temporary fences. So here are the contacts for the project in case you need to bring anything to our attention during construction. Um, Disney Construction is the contractor responsible for all construction work. Um, Justin Harrison is the construction manager and available to respond to resident questions or concerns. Um, I'm the project manager and also available to address any issues during construction. And lastly, Shereen Gonzalez is responsible for ACWD public affairs. Um, this information is also all available on the project website. All right, um, thank you. That completes my presentation and um, I'd like to open up to any questions if there are any. Well, thank you, Nick, um, for the presentation. Um, does anyone have any questions? If, if you're calling, it seems like everyone is attending via Zoom. So uh, feel free to unmute yourself and ask any questions or comments you, you may have about the project. Well, it seems like this is gonna be a very short public meeting. Um, 
If there are no further questions, can you repeat once again um, the contacts, who people can contact if they have any questions? Um, and as far as our website is concerned, how people can um, access the project website? Definitely. Um, so the primary contact would be Justin Harrison for any um, concerns during construction from many residents. Um, his contact information is, is visible on the second line there, 707. 293-1175. Um, the information is also available on the district website, which is acwd.org. Um, you can go to project um, construction projects and it should be all there. Okay. And one question that people may have, Nick, is the contractor's number. Is that a, a, an office number? Is that a mobile number? Is it uh, reachable at any time of the day or any hours of the day? Great question, Groom. Um, it's the office number and it would be reachable during business hours. Okay, great. And will there be any um, any road closures, at least long-term road closures because of the project? No long-term road closures are expected. Um, it's expected that the road would remain open um, at all times. Okay. Thank you, Nick. And, and for people who want to reach us on um, social media, the handle is at Alameda County WD. So it's easy to remember. Uh, you can go on Twitter or Facebook or next door and look us up that way. This concludes our special board, me uh, special board meeting, public informational meeting for the Kertner Road Booster Station project. Uh, thank you for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. And I will...